On the 23rd of October 2013, the British public saw comedian Russell Brand attack the country's political system on the BBC television programme Newsnight. Now, all across the UK, people are sinking into apathy in accordance with Brand's encouragement not to vote. But who is Russell Brand? This undercover documentary for the first time reveals the truth. The world thinks this man is Russell Brand, but Russell Brand does not exist. This man is Richard Branley. He is an actor and he is employed to play the anti-political comedian Russell Brand. Who pays his wages? You'll be surprised to learn. It's the British government. Look, the Tories don't want all the plebs and scumbags and paupers to vote because obviously they don't have the vested interests, offshore bank accounts or bank jobs to be able to contribute to the party's coffers. When working-class men got the vote in the 1880s and women in 19-whatever-it-was, doesn't matter. We all thought, oh, bugger, now we're for it. And this is why in the 60s the government created the Tory Repressive Anarchist Mouthpieces Programme, also known as TRAMP. TRAMP created a number of double agents or pop culture personalities in the shape of musicians and comedians, such as Paul McCartney, John Lydon and Ben Elton. These rebel figures encourage the young and the poor to stay out of the official system, effectively keeping them stum. When we, myself and the Tory Secret Service, developed the Russell Brand character, we went to great lengths to make him seem dangerous and sexy, because we needed people to find him attractive so that they would listen to him. So we simply combined Peter Sutcliffe, dangerous, with Rod Stewart, sexy. And we've been tremendously successful. I mean, after news night, poor old Jeremy accosted me in the toilets. I mean, I can't say I blame him, of course. It's funny, we never expected the Russell Brand character to become such a successful comedian in his own right. Essentially, the main aim of the Russell Brand creation as a puppet of the right-wing government was to drill the message into the people that voting doesn't work, that they are absolutely powerless to change anything, and first and foremost, to give up all hope. It's simple, really. So our job as rebel agents is to fool the masses into thinking that by not voting that they're bigger than the system so that all the people who need the system and know how to manipulate it, the deserving rich, the more reasonable fascists, UKIP and so on, can keep their smooth hands clean. And that, my loves, is why the Tory government is paying my salary. The beard thing, it was just a red herring. I thought of it myself. What can I say? on very method. <laughs>